Okay, let's see what we have here. Ah, this should do nicely. Hi, Joe Peprocki from Loyola Press for a pop-up catechesis as we continue our walk through the Mass, exploring the presentation of the gifts and the preparation of the altar. So, my wife and I have been invited to dinner at a friend's house, and naturally, we asked if we could bring something, and they said no. So, naturally, we're bringing something anyway. It's what we do, isn't it? It's polite to bring a small gift when you're invited to dinner, a, a bottle of wine, a dessert, an appetizer, some flowers, something that expresses your appreciation for the host's generosity. It's also a way of showing that you are invested in the experience, that you're all in, and that you want to further the relationship that this meal symbolizes and celebrates. Well, the Eucharist is a sacred meal that we are invited to. That means that we have to ask ourselves, what am I going to bring? In essence, we bring ourselves fully, consciously, and actively to this sacred meal. So as the Liturgy of the Word ends and the Liturgy of the Eucharist begins, we have a bit of a transition called the presentation of the gifts and the preparation of the altar. We offer gifts. Each of us is invited to offer a monetary gift that symbolizes the work of our hands. And as an assembly, we offer gifts of bread and wine that likewise symbolize, represent the work of our hands so that they may become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ. And then, just as a table is set for a special dinner, the table of the Lord, the altar, is prepared for the Eucharistic meal. So help your children to recognize that we never go to a meal empty-handed, and that the same is true of the Mass. Every Sunday, we need to ask ourselves, what am I going to bring to this sacred meal to show how grateful that we are for God's generous giving of himself to us, and to show that we are all in when it comes to our relationship with Jesus. For Pop-Up Catechesis, this is Joe Peprocki. Until next time, God bless.